Let's talk about The Last Stand Spider-Man. During an intense battle between Doctor Strange and Dormammu, Spider-Man tries to help out Doctor Strange, but he ends up tampering with the spell. This ends up sending Doctor Strange and Spider-Man to a void beyond time. So Strange casts a spell for them to float through time till they eventually land in the original point that they left from. This sends Spidey into the aftermath of Dormammu's destruction, and moments later he's transported to the moment that MJ dies and he's forced to do nothing about it. And once again he's transported further into the future where he sees the grave of Aunt May and an older version of Peter. And this older version of Peter is suiting up for a final showdown and he's also saying goodbye to Aunt May. Moments after this, police roll up to Spider-Man with their guns trained on him. And the present day Peter doesn't know what is happening. And following this, we see an old man approach the older Peter, just begging him to turn himself in after he killed Craven and several other villains, with this Peter saying that he doesn't want to. So the old man leaves, and a group of armored men are authorized to use lethal force on Spider-Man. So Peter gets ready to meet his maker while gunfire is just zipping by him, with this starting a huge close quarters fight between the armored men and Peter till all of the armored men land on top of Peter. But this old Peter manages to burst out of the crowd, lifting up these armored men on top of him. But unfortunately, he gets shot in the back and dies instantly. And all of a sudden, a sudden shock hits Peter, making him relive all of his memories as Spider-Man. Until Peter is eventually transported back to his original point in time, and he can carry on the fight with the Avengers and every other hero to save the day.